He is known for his daring raid on Japan during World War II, which earned him the Medal of Honor. He pioneered blind flying, relying on flight instruments alone, making all-weather airline operations practical. His name is James Harold Doolittle. In the annals of military history, one name stands out as a legendary figure, James Harold Doolittle. Born in Alaska, Doolittle's passion for aviation was ignited at an early age. After studying at the University of California, Berkeley, and earning a doctorate in aeronautics from MIT, he made significant contributions to the field of aviation. Doolittle pioneered blind flying, relying solely on flight instruments, which revolutionized all-weather airline operations. His achievements in speed flights, record-breaking coast-to-coast flights, and his role as a flying instructor during World War I solidified his reputation as an aviation pioneer. But it was during World War II that Doolittle's name became etched in history. As commander of the daring Doolittle raid, he led a retaliatory air raid on Japanese main islands just four months after the attack on Pearl Harbor. With a squadron of 16B, 25B Mitchell medium bombers, each with a crew of five and no escort fighter aircraft, Doolittle's raid struck a major blow to Japanese morale. The raid, which reduced armament to increase range, showcased Doolittle's personal valor and leadership, earning him the Medal of Honor. His audacious mission made him a national hero and one of the most important figures of the war. After the raid, Doolittle continued to make significant contributions to the military. He was promoted to lieutenant general and commanded the 12th Air Force, 15th Air Force, and 8th Air Force in various theaters of operation. His leadership and strategic acumen played a crucial role in the success of these forces. Even after retiring from the Air Force, Doolittle remained active in technical fields and was recognized for his immense contributions. Inducted into the National Aviation Hall of Fame and promoted to general years after retirement, Doolittle's legacy as one of the greatest pilots of all time is undisputed. His remarkable life and achievements continue to inspire and remind us of the courage and dedication required in the pursuit of greatness. In the midst of World War II, Jimmy Doolittle, a lieutenant colonel in the USAF, found himself at the center of a daring and top-secret mission. It was a retaliatory air raid on the Japanese homeland, following the devastating attack on Pearl Harbor. With General H. H. Arnold's approval, Doolittle volunteered to lead this audacious attack using 16B-25 medium bombers launched from the aircraft carrier USS Hornet. Their targets were strategic cities like Tokyo, Kobe, Yokohama, Osaka, and Nagoya. After rigorous training in Florida, Doolittle and his volunteer flight crews made their way to California for aircraft modifications. Finally, they embarked on the USS Hornet from Naval Air Station Alameda. On April 18, 1942, Doolittle and his crews took off from the carrier and reached Japan, successfully bombing their targets. The plan was for the bombers to then head to a recovery airfield in China. However, due to fuel consumption, one crew landed in Russia, and the others proceeded to China. Unfortunately, the mission didn't go as smoothly as planned. Doolittle's B-25 ran out of fuel, and they were forced to bail out over China. It was a perilous situation. Night had fallen, and stormy weather made it difficult for Doolittle to locate their landing field. Miraculously, Doolittle and his crew survived and linked up after the bailout. They were aided by Chinese guerrillas and an American missionary named John Birch, who helped them navigate through Japanese lines. Tragically, not all the air crews were as fortunate. Seven crew members lost their lives, some captured and murdered by the Japanese, while others perished in aircraft crashes or while parachuting. Despite the challenges, Doolittle's leadership and bravery were recognized. He was awarded the Medal of Honor by President Franklin D. Roosevelt, who commended him for his conspicuous leadership and personal valor during the raid. Doolittle was also promoted to Brigadier General. The Doolittle Raid, although causing minimal damage to Japanese war industry, had a significant impact. It showed the Japanese that their homeland was vulnerable to air attack and forced them to divert fighter units for homeland defense. Moreover, it led to the decisive American victory at the Battle of Midway. The legacy of the Doolittle Raid lives on, not only in the history books but also in popular culture. President Roosevelt humorously referred to the raid's base as Shangri-La, a fictional paradise. In response, the U.S. Navy named one of its Essex-class fleet carriers USS Shangri-La, further immortalizing Doolittle's courageous mission. Do you want to explore more politician or military strategist? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.